Hi there, Gaylin here, design team member with Unity Stamp Company. Today I have a masculine card that I'm going to show uh, the way I watercolored the card. And I'm using um, a couple of kits by Unity Stamp Company, and it, one of them is called Saw Your Guy. And it is inspiration from Angela Magnuson's son uh, that Angie Blom drew for a stamp. And um, so I use the, the stamp from Saw Your Guy, and I'm using pattern paper by Unity also. It's called Rustic Textiles. I'm using um, a sort of craft cardstock, and I have a white card base that's pre-scored and cut. I'm using um, a flat style paint paintbrush, which is going to be used for watercolor, and ink tints pencils by Derwent. I'm using a container of water. Now I make sure that my pencils are sharp just so that I get fine detail. Now to begin, I'm going to lightly, very lightly add a line of color around where I'm going to, to color his shirt. Um, don't press very hard. Um, you don't want those marks to stay permanently. Just um, you only really need a dab. When you add water to a stiff brush, like this watercolor brush, it the, the colors pop very vibrantly. Um, I started very lightly with the coloring and added um, the lines. Uh, the brush brings it out. You can always add more color later, but you see um, with just a, a little bit of a damp brush, you pull the color out from those lines and bring it in towards the middle of the, the stamped image. You want to use watercolor paper and you want to use um, ink for use with watercolor. So more of a permanent ink. Here's another way I like to use them. I take a wet brush and I just lightly dab the tip of the brush tip onto a palette mat and um, remove the color to the palette mat. And then you could blend without any doing any outlines. So with ink tints, there's a few different techniques that I use and I'm using a couple of them here in this one project. And then you just pick up the paper from the palette mat and add it to the image wherever you need to for the stamped image. Now um, you go, um, I add in another section of penciling uh, to the shirt and blended it out with the water. And I'm doing the same thing with each section of the stamp. So for black, I used a little bit, um, then added water, and then I did it a second time. If you make mistakes, you can always go back and correct things later. But um, with watercolor, it's not meant to be perfect. It's more of a, you know, a loose way of coloring. So you could see here, I take the brush and just, it pulls out that blue line, and the blue is much more vibrant than the brown or the tan that I used. But all the colors, um, they're basic colors that I have, but with blending and adding more water, you can dilute it and get another color. Uh, in this case, I'm adding water to the background first, and then I come in with that um, palette color and add extra water and it mutes out to a very light background blue. That's what I wanted. So, you know, it's up to you how much color you want, or how vibrant or light you want it. Just add water and it lightens it up, mix colors, changes colors. I made a mistake on the hair, so I just have a white Sharpie marker and it's perfect for just correcting some of the areas, especially in watercolor that I want to hide. Um, then I just go ahead and layer all of the pre-cut pieces and I layer the saw your guy on foam tape along with the sentiment. All of this was pre-trimmed and ready to go and everything was layered to finish. I hope you like this. Thanks so much for watching. Please follow me on my YouTube and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.